Welcome to Pure Africa. Now I'm going to be taking you through some quick training on how you can place your orders via your virtual back office. The first thing you want to do is to key in your login details, IB number and password. The moment you've done that, you can sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to bring you your business summary page where you have an overview of your entire business with Pure. But you want to get to the left panel where you see the order tab and click on place an order. The moment you do this, you see it brings you this arena where you can select the products or the packs that you're looking for. You can decide to scroll and get what you want, but that's a much more difficult process. But you could rather decide to prioritize on the category tab that you see on the left panel here and select based on the categories that you want. Or a much more easy process would be to put in the SKU for the products that you want depending on where you are ordering from, if it's Cameroon, if it's Kenya, if it's Ghana, if it's Nigeria, if it's South Africa. But for this particular example, I'm going to be using a Nigerian park. So I could just take the SKU of, um, let's say, 100 PV for Pure Excel, which would be NG03018. And I click Enter. You see, it gives me exactly what I'm looking for. So all I just need to do is to add this to cart. And you will notice that the cut summary here on the right has changed. So I could do three things. I could decide to increase the quantity of what I want. Now this is going to definitely change the values that I have here. I could stay with what I want. I could decide to cancel this particular order by, by um, can, I could cancel the order and maybe per adventure I made a mistake and I want, I want to put in the right thing. I will cancel, but I'm okay with this. So I'm just going to click on continue. Now this very options here, uh, this very option here gives you more more things to do. So you could decide to still increase the quantity like I, I just talked about or delay to add a new order, or you can decide to continue shopping. But for this example, I'll just check out. Now at this page, it gives you an overview of your address, shipping address, billing address, and so much more. So just click on the checkout your order. And then this brings me more information. Now, by the time you scroll down, you're gonna see an available option there in case you've made multiple payments, possibly to different accounts or the same account, you can key in those details here. But if you've just made a single payment, all you just need to do is place your order and then it's gonna bring you another page that gives you the opportunity to just add your single payment. This information here is very important. So I'm going to tell you how you can copy this and send this to the right info centers. So what you want to do to add your payment is come here and come down and click on add your payment. So it brings you this pop-up screen where you can add the payment that you've made. Let's take, for example, this was paid to a first bank account, the name of the depositor, the reference number for the payment, you can key that here. If per adventure you don't have a reference number, all you just need to do is to add the depositor's name on this part. Now, the moment you do that, you can click on the, make sure you put the exact date that the payment was made. If that payment was made today, so I could just click on this particular date. And I want to put in exactly what I paid, which is 60,000. I click add to payment, add payment. So you can see this is a very simple process. So the moment you do that, it gives, you can see it gives me an exact summary of what has been paid. So the next thing you want to do, you want to get to this part and copy this item here, the order number, order date, and rep detail. And you want to send this to the your country email or send to the other the IBO success specialist and this will be attended to. So you can see this is actually very simple. So the moment you do that, send it to Nigeria at leafpure.com if you're in Nigeria, Ghana at leafpure.com if you're in Ghana, South Africa at leafpure.com if you're in South Africa, Cameroon at leafpure.com if you're in Cameroon, or in Kenya at Kenya at leafpure.com, or send to the specific numbers for each of those countries. So you can see this is pretty easy. Thank you for listening.